Got that fresh PPF on the hood. Ooh, it is looking glossy. We ended up going with S-Tech. I'm actually having the entire front bumper resprayed and then we're gonna redo the PPF on the front bumper as well. But yeah, uh, Parks Detailing is still a little bit of water that needs to evaporate, but Parks Detailing did it, man. They did a incredible job, for real. Like, <laughs> insanely good. My last product just had a lot of glue lines in it and it didn't look very good. So these guys crushed it with this one though. Looks amazing. That is not why we are here today. You guys already know why we're here. So um, we are doing this wing and obviously you guys have seen this, uh, this wing online. They make a lot of different variations of it. This one I was supplied by um, Souvenir. They ended up sending this out to me. Now the difference here is that this wing, the entire thing is carbon fiber. So the sides, and everything are carbon fiber, which is cool if you want, if you like want all carbon. I don't really necessarily want all carbon. I'm gonna paint these, as you guys saw. The thing that I don't love about having all carbon is that it's really hard to work with carbon. If this was plastic or like FRP, it would be a lot easier to adjust things and kind of just make this form fit a little bit better. With carbon, it's like you don't get much flex out of it. It either fits or it cracks, you know what I mean? There's not much flexibility when it comes to that. So in my opinion, if you're gonna do this wing and unless you just want all carbon, if you know that you're gonna paint these, like to the car, which I think in my opinion looks the best, I would honestly just go ahead and get the one with the FRP, the plastic sides. Then you're just gonna have a lot more flexibility when it comes to fitment. But one of my things with like, when you're installing these type of products on your car, it's not gonna be OEM. Like if you, if you want OEM fitment and you don't wanna have to like work with stuff and compromise a little bit of fitment and adjustment, um, just don't even bother modifying your car with certain parts. I guess this all comes down to how, like what kind of perfectionist are you and how good do you want it to fit and look. Um, I'm gonna make it fit and look really good, but it's gonna take a lot of work. And uh, most people would probably take it to a body shop and have them do it. I can handle it. Like I'm gonna go ahead and do some sanding and um, just adjusting some things on these to make it all kind of fit together. I'm gonna try and show you guys like as much as possible uh, the stuff that I do, but it's, it's not perfect. Um, it will take a little bit of work. Either way, if you want OEM and you want perfect, this probably is not for you. That being said, um, I'm used to this. I'm used to kind of just making things work as I go along. That's part of modifying cars, I guess. And so I really don't have a problem uh, putting the work forward and doing that. I actually quite enjoy it. So I'm gonna show you guys what we have going on here. Uh, the car is all taped up. You know, obviously the first part to this whole thing was removing this, making sure everything was good. The carbon all looks great. I am gonna be honest, like all of the carbon looks really, really good super clean and then you have like the rivets on the side for the screws and then there's holes already pre-drilled in here for the screws to go into there this all comes with your comes with your side plates that go on the side of those wings and then you have a bunch of allen head screws and washers that we're going to be using it also comes with this these like little gasket adhesive gasket seals they're like little foam adhesive pieces that are probably going to go i would say like aligned under here so you don't get any water through this. So this trunk is plastic, just so you guys know. I'm a lot more comfortable like drilling into plastic. When I put my wing on my M2, metal is just always such a pain in the ass to drill into and do a wing on. Obviously we went ahead and taped stuff up. I was kind of just like fidgeting with things last night and trying to make it work as well as possible. You're gonna see the outline of the actual wing or the side pieces on each side. And so make sure you, before you like lay the thing onto your trunk, make sure you go ahead and tape it all up. Um, kind of show you guys what we're working with here. Once I get the screws in and the foam in there, it's gonna be a lot better. You guys can probably hardly even see the gaps. A little bit of play in there, but it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Like I give the fitment of the wing sides probably like a seven or eight out of 10. Um, like they're not a 10 out of 10. There's a little bit of flexibility in there. You know, this would be the point where the body shop would probably go in here and start doing some sanding to make it fit even better. I really don't think that that's going to be necessary. Considering the fact that we're gonna have the adhesive foam lined around here, I might even do something with some sealant. And then the screws, I think will be fine. Like I, there won't be any like gaps showing. So that one fit pretty good. This one seems to fit all right as well. Just line it up to my outlines here. And you'll just feel it, it kind of like just pops into place, which is, which is nice. 
but you see how it lines up to my outlines on there so it's why it's wild in all carbon like it looks pretty cool on the on the black i'm not gonna lie but i do um prefer having these just paint matched i think it's a cleaner look so on the inside here we're gonna be beveling these out a little bit we're gonna take an expanding bit and go through and just kind of widen that up so we have more flexibility when putting this on so with that being said uh your first step obviously is going to be tape it up and then you're gonna to wanna to set each one on the tape, find the groove. It's just literally gonna slip right into the groove and then you're gonna go ahead and outline it. So once you have the outline, that kind of just gives you like an idea of where to set it back on. When you place something in these rivet holes right here with like, I'm gonna use a little bit of grease and that will mark your drill holes. So that's kind of how you like get those holes. And I'll show you guys that as well. Cause we're actually gonna drill, we're gonna do all the drilling and everything today. After I drill, I am gonna take these to the paint shop and then have them match it to the car. So really all that's gonna be exposed is this, but we will get it drilled and we will get it fitted onto the car so you guys can actually see it. Little bit of anti-seize lubricant on the paper. That's why you draw the outline because you wanna have a guide to actually put it on rather than just like putting it on, trying to move it around. Obviously it's just gonna smear your lubricant everywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that one on, try and get it as perfect as possible. And then from there, um, we'll be able to actually pivot out where we're gonna drill the holes. When we do drill the actual holes, we're gonna start with a little bit and then use a larger bit and then from the other side, we're gonna use an expanding bit to open up that plastic in a little bit. But we wanna make sure that when we first pilot that through, you don't go all the way through. Just pilot the first little hole. We go so obviously when drilling and making these line up with those holes it's gonna be tough like it's not going to be perfect so just be prepared to when you drill these out you might have to kind of open things up a little bit and use a little bit of adjustability to make everything sort of come together but what you do want to do is just make sure that everything looks even with each side just looking at things it looks like we're good the scary part about drilling into your trunk one shot. Honestly, if I ever decided that I wasn't gonna run the wing again, I would just make two little paint matched black pop-in pieces for here and here, and then this would get covered up by a carbon fiber trunk lid spoiler. Now is the time to start drilling. So we're gonna start with a smaller bit, start with this guy, and then we'll open her up to this guy. You just wanna make sure that the bit is just about a tad bit larger than the actual screw. So you'll feel it right when you drill through. The bit for one is gonna go through really easily. And then you just wanna make sure that as soon as you feel that plastic underneath, uh, give it a stop. What I am gonna do before I drill all the way through is I'm gonna go ahead and pop the trunk and then I'm just gonna kinda hoist it up a little bit with my fingers and then go through um, just to make sure that I'm not like damaging anything underneath. I don't think you will, but probably a good idea to just be cautious about it. So uh, let's put in the other bit now, this guy, and then we'll go ahead and smoke through the actual plastic underneath. All right, got these opened up. 
I think that that is gonna do the trick. Be a little tough to fit a washer in there. Might have to go even wider on these holes, but you just wanna be careful because you really don't have much room. Like it's millimeters until you hit the trunk and you obviously don't wanna widen out the hole in the trunk. I'm gonna do a little bit of vacuuming here, clean some of this stuff up, and then we'll go ahead, pull the tape off up top and start mounting these um, end plates. Dude, I'm so hyped. I actually did like a good job. I checked all the sides, everything is super even. Like comparing this side to this side, it's all very even. So as far as gaps, like just a hair, you can kind of see it through there, but once we put on that adhesive uh, foam, it's really gonna fill all that. So I'm not really too worried about any of that. But yeah, everything like, dude, it lines up well, freaking fits well. I have the bolts in there, but they are pretty loose right now. Like I don't have them tightened all the way down because when I put on the actual like wing portion, I wanna be able to move things around. But yeah, so that worked out well. So really it just comes down to like the prep, like taping up, really making sure that everything is positioned properly and marking it off and then drilling. I mean, I took a good while to like get these drill holes right. You really only get one shot when it comes to that. So you wanna make sure that you just check it as many times as possible beforehand. Dude, it's crazy. Completely changes the look of the car. This definitely isn't for everyone. I think honestly, like no wing or wing, like this car just looks sick with it, but kind of just love how the fact that like the traditional Supra had a wing and I just like cars with wings, bro. Especially like JDM style cars. I think they just look freaking sick with wings. And this style of wing is definitely like the best one out there. This trunk needs to get completely cut and polished because it's just filthy. It's got scratches all over it. This is going to the body shop. Well, the whole car is going to the body shop, but I'm gonna give them this with the wing on it. And they're gonna go ahead and take these and paint match these two here and then clean up the paint and everything and just get it right. And then, um, yeah, your boy will be sitting pretty. All right, let's put on this top lid and see how she lines up. Okay, um, yeah, dude, wow. Looks crazy, looks super good. It looks really big in the garage, but it's not like once you see it on the car and not in a wide angle up close, it's not that big. Um, so look at this dude, looks super good. Hardly any gap on this side. We do have covers that go on here. And then if you go across, it's a little bit of a gap, just a little bit of a gap right here. This is where you could do some things. And honestly, I probably will being that these are going to get painted anyways. I'm gonna have time to do some things. We're getting just a little bit of bulge right here. Just a little bit of contour in the edge of the wing. I'm going to end up sanding this down just a little bit right here. I'll chalk up two little marks right where it's bulging out and then just ever so slightly sand this in. So this is why I say, you know, if you're gonna do this wing or anything really like this, that's kind of like custom or aftermarket, get ready to have to do some customizations, man. I mean, that's part of the aftermarket and modification world, and that's just kind of the way it goes. If you're not comfortable doing that, either A, pay someone to do it who is comfortable, or B, just don't even bother because you're just not gonna be 100% happy if you are that type of person that is a perfectionist. I know that like most people would probably just send it with this gap, but I can't ride like that. To be honest with you, I like to have my shit as clean as possible. Yeah, super happy with it. It is a wild, wild wing. It really takes the whole car to the next level. I think the wing with like the EVSs is just wicked. It flows really nicely with the contours of the car. Obviously, when we get the sides painted, we're gonna have these painted as well. These pop in here just like that. Let's go on the sides like that. And then you have two screws that go on each thing. What's happening guys, it is a new day and we have the parts back from Cars Metrics, the paint shop. They did, dude, an incredible job on this. 
You know your paint guy is good if he is pointing out inconsistencies that you don't even notice. If you guys need a local paint shop in Charlotte, North Carolina, Cars Metrics is the place that I use. I think even further down the line, when I do actually decide to have the E36 M3 completely repainted, these guys are gonna do it. They've painted the hood on my M2, a few parts on my E90 M3, and now some stuff on the Supra. And they just kill it every time. They take really, really good care of your car while it's there, they keep it inside, it doesn't get all dusty, and their paintwork is just like so good, dude. Anyways, I'll leave all our information down below, but we're gonna do the final fitting and the final installation of the wing today. So I'm super excited. I have had a little bit of time to think about how exactly I'm gonna go about installing this, and I came up with a few ideas in my head. The first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and line the lower part of these uh, side braces with this foam, this adhesive foam that we got. So this actually came with the wing and this is gonna keep the water from getting into our holes or our hardware. We don't want any of that to rust. Obviously we don't want water in there to get into the trunk. So it's good to make sure that that's sealed as best as possible. We were able to reduce the gap that you guys saw before on this side with a little bit of sanding. It did help, but it didn't eliminate it. And we couldn't go too aggressive on the sanding because if you eat into that carbon fiber and that clear coat, you will crack it. What made the most sense for us was to just sand as much as we could on the inside, get it a little bit tighter. Lastly, the bolts that we will be using, I'm gonna use a little bit of Loctite on the bolts. Now this is the medium strength, it's not permanent, so I'm not worried about it just being tough to get off if I do decide to take it off down the road. And then I did also go ahead and get a full set of black M6 bolts. So I'm gonna use those, those will just look a lot cleaner. But uh, that should be everything, you guys. I just did some ceramic coating on the top portion, the top lid, so she's good, ready to go. So yeah, from here it's pretty self-explanatory, we're just putting everything back together. Let's get into it. All right, so that's what I ended up with. Looks pretty good to me all the way around. Let's throw it on the other one. Second one, good to go. First one, good to go. Got our painted plates and everything. So now it's just a matter of mounting it right back up, which shouldn't be too hard since we already did all the work. Holes are there and she's looking fresh. All right, so we got all three in there. See, they got the washers on them and some Loctite. This is all pretty loose right now because I'm gonna obviously move that around as best as possible when I'm putting on the top portion, just like we did before. Um, I did end up earlier off camera boring these out just a little bit more so I could get the washers all the way in there. Now I did see some people, uh, I don't know if it's body shops or people who are doing it themselves, but they actually are like using the bolts and putting the washers on the outside. I personally would not recommend doing that. I would make sure that you actually bore this out let the washer go all the way through and sit flushly against the actual contact point that is meeting with the other side of the uh, trunk lid. Because really what you're doing is you're flexing this plastic in, which is just gonna make more flexing up here, which I don't think is quite good when you have a wing that is creating that much downforce. Yeah, so I mean, you guys can do it obviously any way you want, but I think the smart way to do it is to at least make enough room for that washer to go all the way through. Um, and then put your bolts in there. I find that the bolts that they gave us, these guys, mm, they're just not that great. So I went ahead and bought these, uh, these nicer ones, these black M6 bolts, which I think are making, they're just making all of this much easier. Perfect paint match. Yeesh. Super impressive. All right, so these are on, pretty loose. That foam, man, use that foam, you guys. It's gonna be a big deal. And then once we actually tighten the bolts down, all of that is gonna compress. Ain't no water getting up in there. All right, we're gonna mount the uh, top part on. Pro tip, if you're doing this alone, throw a couple of rags right there in case the wing falls or something while you're putting it on. It's gonna be a lot easier. Um, I actually like to like put one side right here and then put one bolt in and then lift it up, put the other one in and go from there. That way you're just protecting all your newly painted stuff. Freaking solid 
dude. Yes, sir. God, looks so good. So paying attention to some gaps here. Very snug. All the way up to the edge. This side is perfect. This side still has a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of gap. I mean, it's like millimeters of a gap. There's a couple of things you could do. You could reposition the side stand, try and get it to flex. But I mean, the real issue is that the way that this is cut right here is a little bit like that. What you really need is for this to just be cut inwards. But um, dude, I mean, <laughs> For what it is, this is really, really good. 98% uh, of people, that won't bother them. Some people who are super picky, it will. The other option is you could go ahead and use the black foam that we used on the inside for these. You could use some of that black foam in here if you wanted to. I might do that down the road, we'll see. These bolts won't rust or anything, so I'm not worried about it. I would feel more comfortable about this just seating up a little bit better. If we had that black foam in there, you wouldn't be able to see it. It would be perfectly flush. So I think that that's what I'll probably end up doing later down the road. Um, not really a priority right now though. So this looks good. We just gotta throw on our little M plates here. I'm actually gonna use these shorter little M6 bolts, which are like perfect. Just go through that. And obviously they're black, so I think they're gonna look really good. 115 in the garage right now. Looks good. Looks really good. I mean, you guys already saw this completed in, uh, in another video, in an earlier video, but I did wanna make a couple of install videos for you guys of everything that we did. Obviously this video is for the people who are actually going to run this wing. This is how I would install it. These are just a couple of the tips to help you out. Yeah, that's really it, you guys. Turned out really good, I love it. Obviously wings aren't for everyone, but that's okay. We all can have our own styles and tastes. And that's honestly what makes modifying cars and just the car community in general so much more interesting. This wouldn't be that exciting if we all had the exact same style and taste. So that is how you install this wing. If you guys are interested in buying this wing, any of the hardware, I'm gonna have it all linked down below. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll do my best to reply to you as fast as possible. But that's gonna wrap this one up, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.